My name is Jillian Peterson, and I am a professor here in the Criminal Justice Department at Hamlin University, and I also am the director of the Center for Justice and Law at Hamlin. And my TED Talk is on what we can all do to prevent mass shootings. My talk is focused on research that we've been doing here at Hamlin for the past year and a half, two years. I've been working with James Densley and also a group of Hamlin students on putting together a database of 160 mass shooters, and they're coded on over 50 life history variables. So things like mental health, social media use, suicidality, and we're looking at patterns in the data. And in this talk, I'm gonna focus specifically on school mass shooters because it's the 20th anniversary of the Columbine shooting this April and the goal is to look at what we know about shooters lives leading up to the shooting because the more we can understand about that the more we can get to the point of actually preventing them from occurring so after I graduated from college I took a job as a special investigator in New York City and I worked for the New York Capitol Defender's Office there, which was the public defender's office that worked on death penalty cases. And it was my job to put together what we called biopsychosocial developmental life histories of people that were facing the death penalty. And so I was 22 and on Rikers Island meeting people who had committed really heinous murders and trying to figure out how you get to the point of committing murder. And I fully expected to go in and meet these kind of Hannibal Lecter type characters. And every time it was a broken, sad, young, often mentally ill, sort of young man. Um, and we had a saying in the office, which was the worse the crime, the worse the story. And it was always true, which didn't excuse their crime, but you could see the pathway that got them there. And so that's where my interest in mass shooters come from, because right now we're very surface level with who these people are. We haven't kind of gotten deep into what's the story, how do people get to that point, and how do we stop them from getting to that point. One big finding from our study was that over 90% of school shooters are current or former students of the school. These are not scary outsiders coming in and doing something. These are kids that are in the school and that are growing up in the school system. And I want people to walk away from this talk thinking, we're not helpless in this situation. We can do more than just be terrified and try to protect ourselves. There really is steps that we can do ourselves, our kids, our teachers, our schools, for each other to intervene and step in and step up and prevent this from happening.